For the UMass Boston Beacons, a new year brings with it new challenges. After falling short in the Codfish Bowl Championship, the Beacons have split back-to-back -back games against Connecticut College and NEC. This afternoon, Lindsey Berman's club looks to climb the mountain that is the New England Hockey Conference standings as they take on the St. Michael's Purple Knights. The fast start for UMass Boston. Here's Jetter. Stretch pass to the rope line and sets up Jenny Carr for a breakaway. 17 and wide. She scores! Jenny Curry all alone and on the board with 13.33 to go. And the Beacons have tallied first against the Purple Knights. It's 1-0 UMass Boston on the sixth of the year from the Kelmsford native. What a great burst of speed coming off the bench right The Knights now. with an opportunity right on front and pinching the legs is to Pippo. We haven't mentioned her much making her debut because she hasn't faced anything. There's a shot from the point there from Athena Akiki that's blocked out in front by Capione. And I always talk to Matt Meisenbacher, and, I, and he says, you know, when a goalie faces more shots, he or she becomes more comfortable. How yeah. uncomfortable must a Pippo be in her first game not facing any shots? Meanwhile, Kristen Embry knifes in between the defenders and the Colorado. From their own zone, St. Michael's turns it over. Onside is Sam Fallon. She might think to shoot from the slot, and it's nabbed out of the air by the netminder, Burke. Nice save. Might get it into the zone, but the Beacons are just shutting them down by getting in those lanes and basically blocking every shot. And there's a goal deflected in front. The initial shot coming from the stick of Beauregard. Not sure if it was deflected by a Beacon or by a Knight. Looks like it was likely a Beacon in front. Could have been Lazy Avison, and UMass Boston extends their lead to 2-0. Beacons. Here's Embry on the far side. Embry back for Cat Armstrong. Cat, quick as a cat, able to get it over to Jetter. Jetter into the slot, but not much on that tip drill by Embry. And now Marin Brown with eight seconds to go. Goes back to Armstrong. Jetter has to shoot. She takes it. She scores! Katie Jetter as the sophomore from Winthrop gets her second career goal. Might have been deflected in front, but we'll call it Katie's for now. And the Beacons head into the break with Four seconds to go, leading three to nothing. Yeah, there are a lot of girls in front of the net right Carlos there. with possession, far side dot, tries to take the nifty wrister, blocked out in front, never reached Burke. Here's Curry. Curry takes it behind the net for Embry, back to Jenny Curry. Curry waits, waits, back to Jetter. Down low to Curry, back to the point for Armstrong. So 30 seconds left on the power play and the slap shot from the point for Cat Armstrong. Denied by the right leg of the goal. Armstrong will just send it all the way into the end boards. Deflection off the boards, taken there and sent forward by Lobes. Knocked down by Armstrong. Four on two for the beacon. Sent right out in front. They score! UMass Boston's Katie Berry, her second career goal. And the sophomore from Abington Mass has given the beacons a 4 nothing lead on a beautiful feed from behind the net. The off just... will be taken by Carlos. One to Ambry. Kristen fists it back towards the point where Curry has it. Curry down low. Ambry looking for the net. And she scores! Kristen Embry, her second of the year. Her the way in. No icing. And the beacons, by a final score of 5 to nothing, will win their fourth consecutive game at Clark Athletic Center. And it proved to 6-2 and two overall in the New England Hockey Conference standings on this victory over the St. Michael's Purple Knights.